uh, welcome to Papa Pet Studio channel, right? Uh, today I'm going to continue uh, on my AMS lesson on exponential equation, right? The last time I stopped at uh, on one example on uh, three terms exponential equation, I'm going to give you another few more examples, okay? Then uh, if possible, I'll move on to simultaneous equation that involve exponential equation, all right? Okay, I'll start off with the first example. Solve the equation 4 to the power x plus 1 equals to 2 minus 7 bracket 2 to the power x. Okay, so we recognize this is an exponential equation because over here, right, the variables that you're trying to solve, your x are actually in the exponent, they're actually in the powers, right? So how do we solve them? So remember I shared in the last lesson that when you have a 1, a 2 or 3, right, when you have a 3 or more terms exponential equation, the technique that we basically uh, we normally try to solve them is actually use substitution, right? The substitution method. If it's just two terms for now, for now, uh, if it's a two terms exponential equation, we throw we will try our best to make the base the same, equate the power, right? Make the base the same and you equate the power. Because you have not learned logarithm yet. What happens when you can't make the base the same? Uh, that's where we have to use a uh, logarithm, right? But that is a lesson for another day. Okay, but for now we we'll just focus on how to uh, learn. Do we learn how to solve a uh, three terms exponential equation? Okay, how do we solve them? Like I say, the technique we use is substitution. So how do we go about doing it? Okay, so the solution will look something like this. Uh, what when I have this, the first thing I do is I will split up the powers. All right, so this will be uh, four to the power of x instead of plus one, right? Miss Stern can write it this way, right? 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 1. If you think about it, uh, when you multiply two expressions with the same base, we, we call it a loss of indices. What do you do? You add up the power, right? Same base. When you multiply the uh, two expressions with the same base, you add up the power. So you have actually have x plus 1. Uh, that's it's actually this expression. Uh. Okay? So it equals to 2 minus 7 bracket 2 to the power x. Okay? Then from here, uh, this is the same. I can write it this way, right? 4 to the power of x, and then 2 minus 7, uh, 2 to the power of x. It's actually the same thing. So over here, what I can do is, you see this 2 to the power of x, this is 4 to the power of x. So what I can do is, I can actually uh, write this as uh, 4 to the power of uh, 4. Instead of 4, right, Mr. can write 2 squared, right? 2 to the power of 2. Right? x. It goes to 2 minus 7 bracket 2 to the power of x. So far, so good. So the only thing I change here is instead of writing 4, I write 2 squared. Okay, 2 squared. Mister, why you choose 2 squared? Eh? Because over here, there's 2 to the power x. Ma. Right, so I can see, um, I was think, I'm thinking, whether can I change 4 to the power x, I convert to base 2 or not. Can I do that? Okay, so over here, right, if you recall a loss of indices, this is the same as writing. Instead of writing uh, 2 to the power of 2x, right, I can actually write this way, 2 to the power of x. Then after that, I bracket to the power of 2. Can you see that this is actually the same? Right? A to the power of m raised to the power of n. Your loss of indices told you is a to the power of m times n. Right? So 2 to the power of x times 2 is actually 2x. So we know that these two are the same. So this is equals to 2 minus 7 to the power of 2x. So remember I told you it's about substitution. Right? The technique we use is to uh, use substitution. So I'll use a red marker. I'll do substitution. I let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. Okay, see what happens when I do that? Huh? I let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. So what I have is 4. Instead of 2 to the power of x, we can write y. Okay, then square. Okay, equals to 2 minus 7. Instead of 2 to the power of x, we can write y. So far, so good. So what do we have now? Eh, isn't this a very normal, a very standard quadratic equation that uh, we are very familiar with? It is, right? So we can just continue. Let's try to solve them here, okay? So this is 4y squared. Bring everything to the left. Make right hand side 0. Then I have uh, minus 2 equals to 0. Then I can actually just solve this quadratic equation, right? By doing uh, factorization. So in this case, let's say this is 4y. This is y, uh, 1, 2, plus minus. Okay, double check. 4y times y is 4y squared. Uh, negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. 8y plus uh, 8y minus 1y is positive 7y. So I know I'm correct. Okay, so from here, this tells me that y is equal to 1 over 4, or y equals to negative 2. Okay, yay! Can I pop the champagne and celebrate now? Cannot, right? Okay, because why? I'm not solving for y. My job is to solve the equation. I'm supposed to solve for x. Right, so don't pop the champagne too early, okay? 
continue solve for x you're not stop solving for y you're solving for x okay so we continue from here huh? so what is my how do you solve for x what is y y is 2 to the power x right so 2 to the power x is equal to 1 quarter or 2 to the power x is equal to negative 2 so over here remember i talked about just now uh, for two terms uh, exponential equation uh, what for now uh, what we have learned is we make the base the same and we equate the power okay when we can so one quarter is actually two to the power of negative two right correct or uh, okay over here two to the power x equals to negative two so if you think about it right two to the power x this is actually uh, x is exponential right so two to the power x is there any value of x such that you sub it in two to the power of that value can produce a negative value is it possible think about it Think of any value of x, example 1, 2, 3, sub x equals to negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, let x be 0. Is it possible 2 to the power of any, any number that will give you a negative value? Impossible, right? Impossible. So this is an A. If you actually use decimals, if you are not very sure you use decimals, you plot out the, uh, use decimals to draw the graph of 2 to the power x, right? What you have is actually this graph. The graph that looks something like this exponential, so it cuts at uh, 1. This y equals to 2 to the power of 2x. Okay, y equals to 2 to the power of x. So if you take a look at this graph, right? This is a graph that's always positive. So where does this graph ever cut the graph off? y equals to negative 2. y equals to negative 2. Impossible, right? So this red graph, this curve, will never ever intersect this green color straight line. They go negative 2. That's why over here, there's no x solution for it. Impossible. So uh, we go back to this one. So uh, for this part, there's no solution. For this part, uh, 2 to the power x equals to 2 to the power negative 2. So when your base is the same, make the base the same, and you equate the power, right? So x is equals to negative 2. There you go. So x equals to negative 2 is the solution for this exponential equation. Okay?